listen up, please. So we are ready to start our tower testing activities here. So I've got Nate's tower here. The first thing I'm going to do is take my roller and measure. And I've got a little more than two and a half inches, a little more than two and a half inches, a little less than two and a quarter, a little less than two and a quarter. So not perfect, but not, you know, terrible. So I would say that's probably like 18 out of 20, which would be like a 90 in terms of measurements because you weren't perfect, but you were okay-ish, right? And then symmetry, I'm looking at his thing now. There's uh, a part where the tower goes this way and on this side it goes that way. And this one goes that way and that one goes that way. So they don't quite match up. When I look this way, all of these members, the diagonals go that way, go that way, etc. So again, not a perfect symmetry score, <clears throat> but not terrible. I think I'll also give you an 18 on that. Joints, I'm looking at the joints. Looks like you didn't get too crazy with the glue. Although in a few places I can tell that you didn't cut angles, you just kind of cut square edges and sort of used glue to fill in the spaces. What I really like to see is those angles cut so that the, the, the pieces fit almost perfectly together. So I'll take a few points off for that. And the members, none of them are hanging off the end. A couple are a little bit crooked, but not too bad. That's actually a little better than your joints. So now I've got your first 80% of your grade. The next part is I'm going to take <coughs> this block of wood, and it's got this uh, what we call threaded rod. It's basically a, a giant long bolt. And I screw it into the machine here. And there's a couple of blocks of wood here that hold it up. I've also got this shield here, because sometimes when these towers break, they basically explode, which is kind of exciting when they sort of break. If you want to come up and stand a little bit closer, no, hey, the tower, his, he's going to come and stand right by this blue thing. And I'm going to start turning the handle. And as I turn the handle, it pulls down on this block of wood. Right there is good. And as it pulls down, it's going to give me a readout down here of how many pounds the tower is holding. So right now we're at 6, 7, 10, 12, 14, 20, 22. So now as you hear a little cracking and popping as we go, 24, 27, 32, 37, 39, 42, 46, 49, 53, 59, it's starting to crack, starting to come apart, 62 I'm seeing, 62 pounds, everybody ball flat. Now, you can see obviously the tower has broken here on the sides, why not? Sometimes it'll crack and break a little bit, but then it'll get strong again. Like something will let go, but then other pieces. So we always test it until the highest that it'll hold before it either falls apart like this or sometimes it just sort of just, you can't turn the handle anymore. All right, so what did we say that was, 62? 62. So guess what our class average is right now? 62. 62, because we only have one result. Now if the next person has 58, then our average would be 60 or whatever. We'd have to keep on doing the math. Luckily, I've got a program on my computer that does that automatically when I punch the numbers in. But for right now, I'm just going to write these down. We can kind of guess. If we get 10 of these that are all in the 60s and a few outliers, then we can figure our average is somewhere around 60. All right? So you can sit down. Nice job. And let's see who's next. 